For those who think the IdeaPad 3 series is too budget and want something with better build quality, Lenovo offers the IdeaPad 5, which has an aluminum chassis and a fantastic hardware selection that ensures good battery life and decent performance, so you can even do work on the go. In addition to the aluminum version, there's also an option for a plastic base, which is a bit lighter. However, we feel like the laptop is light enough as it is, weighing 1.85 kilograms and having a profile of 16.9 millimeters. The laptop looks pretty good, with the edges of the base having a diamond cut and a nice shine. The lid and base are both quite resilient to flex, which is great to see. There's a fingerprint reader inside the power button and a huge grill for the stereo speaker setup. Typing is quite comfortable, despite the shorter key travel. We also get a backlight, so nighttime typing is taken care of as well. The touchpad has a mylar cover, which is very smooth, while the size is about average. The sides house the I.O., which is evenly spread between the left and right. The left has two 5 gigabit Type-C ports, an HDMI 1.4 port, and an audio jack. On the other side, we find an SD card reader and two full-sized 5 gigabit USB ports. On the front, we have an FHD IPS display. For most use cases, it will serve you just right. The viewing angles are wide, and it gets bright enough for outdoor use, maxing out at 374 nits. While the color coverage and accuracy aren't suitable for professional color-sensitive work, nothing's stopping you from cutting your teeth and getting some experience in creator apps. With an FHD display and a 57-watt-hour battery pack we get up to 11 hours and 32 minutes of web browsing, or 9 hours and 27 minutes of video playback with the Core i5-1235U. This is a good result. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. The IdeaPad 5 offers a lot of options for CPUs, both from AMD and Intel. You can choose between the Ryzen 5000U series, and both the Alder Lake P-Series and U-Series. The laptop manages to do better than a lot of notebooks in benchmarks, with the Core i5-1235 outperforming the i7-1255U inside the MSI Modern 15, along with the Ryzen 5 5600H inside the Asus VivoBook S15 OLED. The Iris Say Graphics G7 on the inside isn't as powerful, however, it can still handle basic image and video rendering, thanks to the hardware and coding cores that are on the chip itself. The device offers a basic cooling solution with two heat pipes, one fan, and a heatsink. It deals quite well with the Core i5-1235U maintaining a consistent 35 Watt TDP even after 15 minutes of torture testing. It could probably do better as the temperature reached only 69 degrees Celsius. All in all, it would definitely be enough to handle the P-Series. Comfort was exceptional, as the single fan remained quiet, while the base reached a hotspot of only 36 degrees Celsius. Despite the 15.6-inch form factor, Lenovo didn't seem to have found space for a SODIMM slot or two. We have up to 16 gigabytes of soldered DDR4 RAM, while storage is accessible through an M.2 PCIe X4 slot and one SATA drive slot, with mounting hardware included in the box. If you want to see how the teardown process goes, we'll have our disassembly video in the description below. The IdeaPad 5 is a neat laptop that covers all bases if you need a device for the office or just a daily driver that can perform when needed. The aluminum build and the quiet cooling make for a comfortable user experience, while the long-lasting battery ensures that you won't run out of power when you most need it. Check out our written review of the Lenovo IdeaPad 5, which covers the laptop thoroughly.